So the Ravens lose to the Steelers 19 to 14. This game was very interesting with um so so many people defense and offense a lot a lot of starters out. Um they called up I think about 11 practice squad players to play this game. But you would think with so many starters out um, we would get completely dominated. But defense did the best that they could. To me, the defense played very, very good. Um, only gave up one touchdown. Uh, Rossenberger, 266 yards, uh, one TD, and uh, one interception. The interception he threw, I have no idea what that was. Um... RG3 started this game. He um uh he played very I'm just gonna say bad. He played very bad. Like bad. <laughs> he threw a pick six, um fumbled the ball, holding the ball too long. Uh, 12 attempts, 7 completed. You like 12 attempts, 7 completed. Okay, how many yards did he get? 33 yards. 33 yards. Then Trace McSorley comes in the game. Nope, before I talk about Trace. Okay, so RG3 possibly could have had a TD. Luke Wilson completely dropped it. Um... I'm tripping on the time management because that Luke Wilson play, he literally had the ball in his hand and did a Lee Evans. And Raven fans, y'all remember Lee Evans. He dropped the touchdown. Defense did everything they could. Everything. Like, they did everything they could. They only gave up one TD. And the, and they stopped the the Pittsburgh in the red zone so many times. Yes, Pittsburgh had some drops, but that ain't no excuse. But, man, defense played very well to me. Um, That Luke Wilson drop, oh, man. I think that really would have changed. And that was going into the halftime. That could have literally changed the game. But he dropped it. You know? Um, RG3, they got... They finally took RG... RG3, like, pulled a hamstring or something. Pulled a muscle or something. They kept him out there. I'm like, man, just put Trace McSorley out there. Like, he's not doing anything. Put Trace McSorley out. McSorley, first drive... First pass he did, like he was, I don't know, skipping rocks on a pond or something. But after that, um, that first, that first series, he come back out. He catches, um, on this play, he was Mark Marquise Brown's Hollywood. He catches Hollywood for a, I think a seventy yarder or something like that. And Hollywood, you already know he did in uh was that Fitzpatrick or whatever that boy name is. Did him in on that play, got the game back, and then the defense just the defense tried their best, but they it was that one play Washington caught and that was a really good catch. And that pretty much sealed up the game right there. But Steelers are now eleven and oh. Ravens. Ah, Ravens are six and five. Like, and I believe we're gonna still make it to the playoffs. I have us taking a spot right now. The Colts are in their last spot. I have us taking that spot and the possibility we could be playing the Steelers. Or yeah, we could possibility be playing the Steelers in the playoffs. I don't know, because right now it's still a little iffy and everything, so it's no telling. Too many games are 
are still on the board. Um, the last good game I see the Steelers play is the Bills. I think that's the last good, like, good game. Bills, yeah, Bills, yeah, Bills. I was gonna say the Colts, but you never know with them. You never know with Phillip Rivers, and that's what I mean with that. But good game for the Steelers, not so good for the Ravens, and it shows. Lamar is the offense. This game really shows Lamar is the offense. And what really made me mad on this game, I'm sitting here like, man, they is just finna get his chance to do his thing. And Dez had two targets, two bad passes from RG3. But man, and this was RG3's turn to show, like, hey, I'm a starter in this league. I can be a starter in this league for another team. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's why I'm like, RG3, I don't see him being a Raven no more. They, gonna, they can finally use that one spot for something else. Man, and then uh, Jimmy Smith, he got injured. Uh... Man, it, it was just like dropping like flies. Really. A lot of people was limping. But I do respect the Ravens. Ten days without practicing. You can only do a walkthrough. And you came out and... And only lost by like five points. I, I, re, I, can, I can respect that. That to me that shows if we had something on defense, I mean something on offense, that right there would have been very, very, very good. So I ain't even tripping off this. I know I probably have some people, some Steelers fans, eleven and zero in the comments and all that. Whatever. I'm like, so many starters was was out. I could nobody. In the league, I believe it has more starters out like the Ravens did. Also adding no practicing for 10 days. And this is not no basketball with no AI practice. Practice? No. Mm -mm. This is football. Practice matters. 11 practice squad people come up. 10 days without practice, you often do a walkthrough and you only get defeated by five points. And Lamar hopefully is coming back next game where we play against the Cowgirls. Now that's what I'm waiting for. But hit that like, hit that subscribe. Still a fans, congrats on the win. I already know y'all gonna be coming in the comments, so. Do you do? Everybody stay safe.